After three and a half months of sailing, we had arrived in Gran Canaria, Spain. And now it was time to prep ourselves for the next big leg, the Atlantic crossing. 3,000 nautical miles and 20 to 30 days with no land in sight. Our new crew was about to arrive, so I began making the new week plan for cooking, baking, dishes and cleaning. We try to keep everything really organized, as there are so many jobs and chores on a boat and because we have so many newbie crew members on board. Så kaotisk er der lige en time før alle gæsterne kommer. Der er cirka ting. Vi er totalt klar yes. overalt, hvis vi lige kigger herude. Yes, det bliver rigtig indbydende og dejligt cockpit. Så kigger vi hernede, hvor Lærke og Trine skal sove. Du er lidt bedre på dernede også. Der er rigtig god plads hernede. Åh, oh, gulvet er væk. Shit, shit, shit. Allerede der. Så har vi, det er så Trine og Lærkes værelse. Der er dejligt komfortabelt, og man kan sove herinde i et lille hul mellem gummistøvlerne. Eller heroppe på hattehylden. Okay, skat. Her bor Mette og Michael. Der er ikke nogen seng mere. Vi står op og sover. Men Mette, når vi det? Ja, ja. Vi når det. Tre kvitter, tror jeg. Altså. Vi er lynhurtige. Vi klarer den. Vi er på vej til at hente nye gæster. Lidt stresset dag, ikke? Men nu er vi klar. Og vi glæder os til at se de nye. Det er altså dejligt at få lidt mere energi om bord. Og jeg tror, de står sådan lige herovre og venter lige bagved. Hej! Hej, hej! Er det den forkerte bro? Næh! Mm. Men vi har bare fået plads i havnen. Er det rigtigt? Ja! Yes. Yes. Så vi skal lige op. Hej! Og der var en der! <laughs> Jeg synes også, I var blevet en mindre. Ja, ja eller der nede i kahytten. Du skal ned til højre, og du skal ned til venstre. Hej, hej, hej. Jeg har været lidt fester. Hej, hej. Hvad skal jeg have på ryggen? Du skal ned til højre, Trine. Uffe, du skal ned til venstre. Yes, we did make it just in time for the new crew. And we had gotten a berth, which was pretty difficult as the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers, also known as the Ark, was currently occupying the whole harbor. But as we had many important jobs on the boat, including a welding project, we really needed to be there. The first order of business was fixing the toilet that had been broke since Denmark. Remember when Michael had to jump in the harbor to try and fix it? Well, it still didn't work, and we had found out that Isaac, our translator, had many other talents. So we signed him up for a long to-do list. First job, fixing the toilet. Luckily, it didn't take the boys long to troubleshoot together. So one down, and a lot more to go. Hi, Pat. Hi! <laughs> Kommer du snene der? Det du. Der står øhm, syres nogle tjutter på sejlet, som jeg ikke lige kan huske, hvad hedder. Sejltjutter? Ja, sejltjutterne. Det, ja. det er det, det, er det ord, man bruger ikke inde, for, inde i branchen. Ja, okay. Ja. Præcis. Det går godt. Er du god? Ja, det synes jeg. Det er bare hårdt. Jeg har kun lavet en og allerede lidt træt. Ja, hvor mange skal lave? Øh, fire. Ja, okay. <laughs> det skal nok gå. Der er kaffe bag. Ja, vi har hele dagen også jo. Det er fint. Hvad er det, I laver? Test om spilersokken kan du. Okay. Jeg kommer lige ud og ser til jer. Der er lige lidt kabaletid. Kartoffelmostid og kaffetid. Vasketid. We really wanted an easy snuffer for our spinnaker to make it more hassle-free to take it up and down. Isaac just happened to have a used one for sale, so we wanted to try it out. It wasn't completely the right size, but close enough. 
Original mosquito nets are super expensive, but it's basically just some net to keep these flying bastards out. So instead we cut out some frames and glued a net onto them with our Pasco fix. A nice and cheap solution. Vi prøver. Ja, så må vi. Det her det er bare super dejligt at vågne op til. Everyone was keen to get out of the harbor and go conquer the big oceans. So our crew pitched in as much as they could whenever possible. Good job, guys. But it wasn't all hard work. In between to-do lists and daily chores, we found some time for a little fun. Uffe had brought a paddleboard, so Maria and Frederick took it for a little spin. <laughs> okay, it's Friday. Drengene spiller kort. Det er jøddag. Jeg har været handle ind, fordi vi får gæster. Og det er bare helt perfekt at have et stort køleskab. Whoops! What is that monster doing in our salon? We'll say hello to our new freezer. 80 liters of cold freedom. This way we can buy meat and other stuff for long periods of time not having to rely on supermarkets or live on a fish diet. It wasn't cheap, but I think we will be very happy with it. And tonight, it will make damn sure that we have cold drinks. I made drinks. And this is what you eat when you have a hangover in Gran Canaria. A huge ass barracuda. Nicely prepared by Aske and Trine. Go to the end of the round here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not And then our new Davids arrived for fitting. They looked very promising, but I knew better than to get my hopes up yet. Are you glad? We had chose a thick square design to make it as strong as physically possible. All we needed to do now was decide on a length. It was a tough choice though. The longer the arms, the more they can move. But at the same time, long arms mean that the dinghy will hang higher above the water, preventing the waves from hitting it. Together we decided on a length and the welders went back to the workshop. Hvor er I søde? Ligner I sidder og putter lidt? <laughs> det er også dejligt. Det er også godt. Det er jo ikke. Vi sidder og klipper sig til. Eller barberer det. Hvorfor kalder det? <laughs> Nå, hvorfor gør du det? For at når vi skal ud og sejle, at der ikke kommer flere af de her tråde. Så vi ikke kræver noget sejl? Hej. Vi laver noget meget mærkeligt. Lærke, ja. hvad laver vi her? Vi er i gang med at vaske øh, Moana. Hun har været ude i beskidt, efter at smeden har været her. Og vi har simpelthen prøvet med brun sæbe og knofedt og alt muligt. Og nu øh, er vi i altså, sidste, sidste udvej. Det, det er toiletrens, vi står med her. Det har vi fået at vide på Facebook. Ja. Inde i en, øh, i en tråd i noget langturssalads. Ja. Så øh, Lærke og jeg, vi er gået all in, og øh, vi har øh, gjort det hele dagen, så vi har fået Moana-fødder. Ja. De er blå, de matcher til bimininen og sejlposerne. Ja. Det er helt perfekt. Helt perfekt. Så gør vi sådan her, så splatter vi det ud. Brug lidt vand der. Får det lidt vand, ja. så får det lov at stå. Ja. Skal jeg lige hente skruppen? Så henter vi skruppen. Og så 
skrubber vi bare på det. Og så bliver det så fint, så fint, så fint. Det er perfekt. Også med smølfeblå finger. Alt er godt. Kan vi lige prøve en stadig forkert pand? Ja, der er meget set aftensmad i dag, men øh, der er sovs, så det skal nok gå alligevel. Hvad, hvad skyldes den til en aftensmad? Ja, det er svært at sige, men det er noget med, at pigerne skulle ind og købe fem ting, og så endte med, at de købte det til fem dage, og så kom det sent hjem. Og de har kom. købt 11 flasker vin. Perfekt. Så det går. Alt går. Perfekt. Alt går. Så er der til to dage. An important thing to do before a big crossing is to inspect the rig. So we hoisted Michael all the way to the top of the mast to check everything. Yeah. Good. Along with an inspection, we also untie all of the knots, move the rope a bit and tie them again. This way we move a potential breaking point. Lying still in the water, not sailing, all kinds of different sea creatures come to live underneath your boat. But from top to bottom, Moana got our undivided attention. As we have the non-toxic silicone paint on the hulls, it is fairly easy to wipe everything off. On this leg of the trip, we actually have three birthdays. So in between all the preparations, we of course made time for some celebration. When the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers, also known as the ARC, left Las Palmas, we of course watched on the sideline. Over 200 boats compete every year in different categories to cross the Atlantic first. Staying in Las Palmas the same time as the rally had actually been quite frustrating, as the harbor was packed and all the ARC boats were a priority everywhere. For us having to do work on the boat, it meant that we had to go back and forth between the harbor and the anchorage. But now with so many boats having left, there was more than enough space for us to go back. So er havnen godt nok blevet tom. Efter alle akbådene har sejlet. Så nu er der plads til os. Here, spare belt, spare o rings. Honey, what are you doing? I'm unpacking the water maker. Woohoo! This is really a boy's day. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the crew has been sent off yeah. to tourist attractions. <laughs> Knowing that we were going to travel places where you cannot drink the water for the next couple of years, we had decided to buy a water maker. If you can just go to the harbor and turn on the water hose and fill your tanks, it isn't a big deal. But many places we won't even see a harbor, let alone be near running drinking water. And then it is such a hassle to fill the tanks. So now we would be able to make our own drinking water from the salt water surrounding us. Isaac? Pretty damn smart. What are you doing? Installing the last parts of the water maker. <laughs> Det 
Nein, die Igelklo. Ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> Even though our Davids still weren't finished and the wilders were turning out to be a headache once again, we knew that the departure was getting close, so we began our final preparations. <laughs> Eight people on a boat for a month equals a whole lot of provisioning. Are we ready? Vi har ikke købt særlig meget, vel Lærke? Ikke så meget. Vi starter her, det er det, vi skal med hjem nu. Så kommer der en lille fod her, det er vores skinke. Og ja, det er bare de to kasser. Eller, okay, der var også lige noget her. Her, her. Åh, oh, jeg tager lidt det her. Her. Jeg tror, vi bliver nødt til at købe en ny båd. Jeg har også stået og trækket af, at der var otte kasser, han har kørt væk. Ja, allerede. og alle kølevarerne lå her før. <laughs> vi må have en trailer. En båd trailer. <laughs> But provisioning doesn't end when you swipe your credit card at the store. Back home, we began prepping all the groceries before taking them on board. We remove all unnecessary cardboard and labels and wash almost everything with a little bit of chlorine to prevent bugs on the boat. Hvad får godt herinde? Jeg skælder ud. Nej, det må du ikke. Nej, jeg skælder ikke ud. Jeg siger bare nej, 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 nej. Den skal ikke stå. Men hvad laver du, Skrin? Jamen, jeg laver... Det er midt om aften. Klokken er lidt i 8, og nu er der sket det vilde, at smedene er dukket op for at sætte vores dagvider på. Yes, believe it or not, the welders were turning out to be a problem once again. First of all, they were as reliable as the ones in the Azores, not keeping hardly any deadlines and never letting us know if they changed the plans. And second of all, they had actually made a very good and solid looking pair of Davids. But when we asked for some additional and final reinforcements, to be absolutely sure it was going to hold, They didn't want to cooperate, and at one point they just took the Davids and left. We ended up with the Davids, but without reinforcements, because now we couldn't delay our departure any longer. In other words, a half-finished product. But now we had to look ahead and focus on our crossing. <laughs> Instagram of the thing. Trying it? What? Yeah, well. What? Stop! I'm here. 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 I'm was lying ahead of us, and today was finally the day.
Shut up and sit down. Up next, we catch the Christmas spirit, the trade winds, and a delicious looking tuna. <laughs>